what i really love about the property is that it conveys the essence of this place of yerkad so what's interesting is a lot of murunga kai this is a murunga kai that's right sir drumstick mm what i love is how everything has uh, rendered into that curry whether it's flex of the fat a little bit of the potato some of the greens the marrow of the murunga kai some of the uh, seeds from the chili Well, it's a nippy morning here in Yerkard. We are at La Four Seasons Resort that we've been staying over the last couple of days. So, as you know, the purpose behind uh, getting to Yerkard was to really test what the Jimny would do on a long drive, and I wanted a drive that incorporated driving on the highways and also some on the ghats. And I also did some gourmet on the road vlogs while here, just to get a flavor of Yerkard. So you definitely must look that up on uh, Food Lovers TV, and uh, in fact, we did a very interesting vlog here too uh, on tribal cuisine that this uh, resort offers, and that's the reason why I picked this place to stay. So it's a sort of place that uh, makes for a good, cozy sort of a getaway. And what I really love about the property is that it conveys the essence of this place of Yerkard. So the topography around here is largely coffee estates, and there's all sorts of trees, silver oak, uh, jackfruit. I saw some palms somewhere growing, and this property conveys that character, conveys that sense of nature, and connects you to the place. It's also a resort that compels you to walk because there are no vehicles once you enter the gate. So you got to walk up and down. It's a hill station, so therefore the topography too is that of inclines of slopes. So if you like being active in terms of walking around the resort, etc., it's great. If you have issues with respect to knee aches or back aches, etc., perhaps it's best to get one of the cottages right next to the gate. There's somebody working a chainsaw in the estate nearby, but otherwise you can also hear the call of the peacocks. And in fact, yesterday when I went on a walk around this area, I saw a peacock as well in one of the estates. The other thing that I liked about this property is also the hospitality of the staff, right from the general manager, Mr. Kadir Ravan, to his team. Everybody greets you with a smile. Everybody is always there. So all in all great place to just relax for a couple of days. So if you are in Yerkard definitely check out La Four Seasons. I think the rooms here are priced at rupees 5000 upwards and I think it offers value for the overall experience that they provide. We've done enough relaxing though so today it's time to get back to Bengaluru. And while coming in we took the uh, Salem Yerkard route and we did the hairpin bends the 20 hairpin bends. But on the way back I want to do something a little more adventurous. So there's another route that uh, we can take that goes via the Bomadi Ghat and uh, that doesn't go via Salem but touches the national highway somewhere near Dharmapuri. So that's the route that I'm hoping to take. I'm also told that the roads aren't great on this route and that's precisely the reason why I want to take that route because I want to see how the Jimni performs in that situation but before we head out we'll get to the restaurant and grab a spot of breakfast mutton dorai curry so mr kadiravan what do we have here So this is called dorai curry. When the British people came here in the 17th, 18th century, uh. in the morning time in winter season, uh. they prepare this dorai curry. Lot of spiciness. The tribals and the Malayalis who lived in Yerkad, uh. they prepare this curry very spicy, and they take it with a bun or a soft bread with a hot tea. So what is the base for this curry? The base for this is a drumstick, aloo, and mutton. Onion, ginger, garlic, all those ingredients will be there. 
Can I serve you some? So I'm of course here with uh, Mr. Kadir Awan. You've probably, if you've caught the haircut blogs, you've already met him. He is the general manager here of this property. And he said that I should try this dish called the Dorai curry, which I'm told was very popular with the Britishers back then. Can I serve you some more? Enough. So what's interesting is a lot of murunga kai. This is a murunga kai. That's right, sir. Drumstick. And you chop it into small dices. Only then it will simmer and the full flavor will come out, sir. Ah. But then can you eat it? Because it's yes, usually sir. drumstick is fibrous, no? By the time when it's fully cooked, no, sir. Only the inside flush, everything will be uh, mixing with the curry. Ah. So you can't really do much with the drumstick per se. That's right. It's already infused into the curry. Yes, sir. So what they will do? Mm. They will take a bread piece, ah. they will dip it in the curry and then they will eat it. Wonderful. I want to taste some of that curry first just by itself. Mm. Plenty of pepper too, huh? Yes, sir. Without pepper, ah. none of the air cut dishes get completed. Ah, and the combinations are hot tea. Hot tea. I want to get that bun to soak up all that curry. So the bun will always be a little sweet. A little mm. sweeter. Mm. With this curry and when you eat it, oh, that it's combination. It's a great combination. What That's I'm also right. enjoying in that curry is that there are flecks of the fat that have also rendered into that curry. That's uh, right. So I'm tasting some of the fattiness of the meat. I've got the bite of the pepper on the back of my throat. And I guess the pulp from the Burunga Kai also serves to thicken it a bit. And the all also. Mm. Usually I don't do breakfast as you know. But I was setting out on this uh, five or six hour drive. I said, let me eat something. And when uh, Kadiravan recommended this, I said, we should certainly try this. And I'm glad we did. We held back our departure by half an hour just so that we could taste this curry. So you eat this only with the bun? With the uh, bun or soft bread, mm. with the hot tea. When the foreigners eat, they will ah. start to sweat. Mm. Oh, I love the meat. The meat is nice and tender. So I think this is a classic potato and meat, meat and potato sort of a dish. Mm. So yesterday, you were also telling me about some other bread too that goes with it. That's a soft bread, sir. Okay. You can't even be able to cut it into slices. Mm. Because it will be very soft. If you put a knife, it will be going down. Does the bread also have a bit of sweetness? Yes, sir. Okay. That also have a slight sweetness in that. This is delicious. I'm so glad that you recommended this. Uh, there's plenty of green chilli as well. Mm, so good. Let me taste a bit of the tea along with this and see what the combination is. Ah. Yeah, that certainly, in fact, uh, increases the warmth quotient a little more. Yes, sir. Uh, After taking the tea, uh, the foreigners will start to sweat. Uh, but even though this is a combination, they will enjoy. That's why it's called a Dorai curry. So Dorai, Dorai means, means Lord. Dorai means Lord. Lord. So the Indians, they used to call the foreigners, especially in Tamil Nadu, as Dorai. Since the curry is made for them and they consumed by them, uh, it's called a Dorai curry. Dorai curry. What I love is how everything has uh, rendered into that curry, whether it's flecks of the fat, a little bit of the potato, some of the greens, the marrow of the Murunga Kai, some of the uh, seeds from the chilli. It's a very rustic sort of a curry. Oh? Yes, sir. Huh? And how much ever you boil, mm. the spiciness will keep increasing. I'm loving it. I think I only want to reach for one more of the buns. Is this part of your menu or you have to prepare it specially? This is specially for the guests. Mm. So in case you're not staying here, call them ahead. I'll leave their numbers in the description of this vlog. And definitely check out that Dorai curry. It's a very rustic curry, a lot of spices. Some of the fat that seeped into it, spicy with the green chilli. But that combination with that bun, the sweetness of the bun is quite endearing. Actually, if you put a salt bread, you can't enjoy more. A Correct. sweet bread with a spicy curry, with mm. the aloo, mutton, that's a fatty mutton especially. 
and uh, the drumstick. A good hearty breakfast to fortify us as we set out on our drive back to Bengaluru. Mm. Well, we indulged in that breakfast a wee bit more than we should have, but it was certainly rather tasty. The Dorai curry or the Lord's curry, of course, no longer the English Lords, but made for the Lords of India today. It's about 11 in the morning now. I think by the time we get to Bengaluru, it should be around 4, 4.30 perhaps. But what I'm looking forward to next is that drive through Bomadi Ghat which is going to be a little rough but then that's the sort of terrain that this Jimny has been designed for so I'm really looking to put it through its paces there. Mm -hmm.